They say it's the most magical place on Earth, and no one will let you forget it. Magic. Imagine magic. But Disney World's magic is really just stagecraft on a grand scale. Sets, costumes, lights, makeup, and animatronic robots, all singing in unison. But how does it work backstage? Disney won't let you see what's behind the curtain, but they let me. Right now, you are at Creative Costuming. So you make Mickey's Tux. We do You're make Mickey's, Mickey's Tailor. Tux. We are Mickey's Tailor. Aww. We take care of Mickey, Minnie, and the whole gang. Mickey has his classic tuxedo. He also has a great jogging suit. Fitness, wellness is very important to us here. There are 7,000 different costumes worn throughout Disney World. Mickey alone has right at 450, and not to be outdone, the missus is right behind him with right at 410 different costumes. And each of them starts here, with research, blueprints, and miniature prototypes to bring iconic Disney characters off the screen and into reality. We bring these characters to life. We bring them off of the storyboards, into the theme parks, into the photographs, into the memories of children and people around the world. Disney World might look like it runs on magic, but it's actually a well-oiled machine, thanks to central shops. We are responsible for maintaining the magic. We have machinists, we have welders, we have mechanics. If it needs to be done at Walt Disney World, we have the people here to do it. Central Shops has been around since before the Magic Kingdom even opened. We're a big part of actually building the Magic Kingdom. We maintain the ride vehicles, we do these, these major teardowns, whether it be paint or feathers on tiki birds. About 20 million people visit Disney World every year. That means a lot of wear and tear on rides, some of which have been around since the park's opening. John is literally hand painting these horses that are Prince Charming's regal carousel in That's the middle right. of Fantasyland. You got it. Those horses are actually 100 years old, but I would say they probably look better than the day they were first manufactured. All those guests need to be fed, and they can't survive on turkey legs and Dole Whips alone. Enter the Flavor Lab. The challenge is to match wherever you are that storyline. Sometimes that story calls for more than just your standard theme park food. That can mean taking fictional foods from movies. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me, ask the dishes. And cooking them up in reality. Often working with Disney Imagineers three years before a restaurant even opens. Wouldn't it just be easier to just have, here's some hamburgers, here's some hot dogs. I mean, all theme parks have food. Well, it would be easier. It's not what we do. We complete the story down to the smallest level. That's our difference. But not all of Disney's secret places are workshops and kitchens. There's a living fairy tale inside of the park that only a handful of guests ever see, the Cinderella Castle Suite. You're looking at 660 square feet of drop-dead gorgeous. Who gets to stay here? The people who stay in the Castle Suite are people who win contests or sweepstakes or promotions. It's always a gift. Well, how long do people get to stay here when they have a stay? One night. One night only. The Disney Imagineers didn't overlook a single detail. Mahogany finishes, a 300-year-old writing desk with internet, 14 karat gold tiles, and a whirlpool tub lit by a fiber optic night sky. And in the entrance, one really special touch of Disney magic. In the foyer on the top shelf, we have the glass slipper. It is one of a kind in the world today. It is a lady size seven. The attention to detail is unparalleled, which is all a part of the magic. 